last section 106 of the tutorial is about RPCs, remote procedure calls. Remote procedure calls are something which is not necessary very often in this kind of network applications where we basically most of the time will synchronize the state of the application um, by the functionality we just covered whereas remote procedure calls are run outside the loop so they are basically sent from one client or the server to all the other clients and um, handled at the time they arrive so they are not guaranteed to arrive and be handled at the same time on all clients and uh, this makes it, it makes them not appropriate to handle anything which is um, which relies on a, a proper alignment of uh, the predicted position of states of objects, um, but they are perfect uh, to create things like uh, what we will do right now, like chat callouts or something, where we really do not care if um, the text is displayed at the exact same time on every client or that it's even di displayed at all. So for rather unimportant things in the gameplay perspective uh, remote procedure calls are fine also in a setting like we have here with the fusion networking to keep this lesson a bit more in line on how the other lessons are implemented i will change the sequence from the documentation and add the ui component first and the code afterwards um, what we want to achieve is that every time a player hits the r button then a message should be displayed like a little chat window where this um, message is displayed to all players and depending on whether the player himself uh, hit the R button it will say I said the following or you said the following and if any other player uh, says something then it just says another player said something. In order to implement this we first need to have a canvas to um, actually uh, show these, these, uh, these settings. So I will go ahead and add a simple text field here. This will add our canvas and the text field should uh, basically stretch um, completely over the whole uh, frame. So we reset the, the transform and make this a bit wider. So like a thousand and four hundred in height. And this will just uh, display the text over the whole canvas here and maybe just also change the, the color from this grayish to something uh, like white and um, maybe the, the font width is a bit, bit bigger like so and remove the default text and then we should be good to go and what we will do in the, the code uh, we will just search the whole scene for this text element and then just set the text text to whatever we want to display. The implementation of an RPC is really very straightforward. So um, in order to create a remote procedure callable function, um, we just have to add a property which is called RPC, which comes from Fusion and uh, we have to specify um, who is uh, uh, who, who may uh, call this so from where this this RPC may be uh, called so uh, the caller needs to have the input authority and uh, we want to target RPC targets we want to target uh, in our case all um, all clients so um, this is called whenever the the client has the input authority and it targets every other client and then we create our, our method it needs to be a public void and um, the documentation says it needs to have an RPC as a prefix or a suffix in the method name casing is not necessary so uh, obviously apart from this attribute it also has a naming scheme so we call this send message and give it a property message and it also has a RPC, RPC info, um, which can be used to see if we are run, if, if we were the one who invoked this, or if it's coming over network. And the default, um, the default 
default value if we do want to process this. And then what we will, what we will doing is we will uh, try to find our messages object first, so our text object. So I add a private text. Text, text, text is not here, so we need to import this. Messages. And where does text come from? This is UI. So, and if the messages are, so we do a lazy initialization here, if messages is still null, then we will set it to a find object of type. So the first object, game object we find of type text uh, will be set here. And then depending on whether we are calling this locally, so uh, this is this RPC info, if this was invoked locally, then we will set the message to something like, uh, sorry, you set message. So this will pop up on our screen and else it's not invoked locally, obviously somebody else. Some other player set message. And, and uh, then we have to apply this messages plus equals message. Ah, text, obviously, <laughs> okay, text. Messages text plus equals message. So this will quickly scroll below our floor, but anyways. Uh, and we do not add any new line here, so we just add this new line. Okay, last thing to do is now we have to actually call this RPC every time somebody clicks the, uh, the R key. Uh, we are processing this already, uh, so we have uh, this, this, this input processing in this uh, basic spawner. This is on input processing. And uh, this is not not where we want to process this because this is synchronized uh, across the ticks, whereas we are really not interested in the actual game state. So we do this with a regular Unity input method. So we just use a regular uh, update and um, this happens on all clients. So we need to check if we have the input authority. So if this uh, was happening on our own PC and uh, then we just check if get key down, if the R key was pressed. And if this is the case, so on our PC and we have the input authority and the R key is pressed, then we just call this RPC send message and uh, we just send any message. And this is the whole code. So with this, we send the RPC message. We have the input authority, so this will, um, will, will work here and uh, it will target all and uh, this is invoked then and if we are running, if we this arrives on our own PC, we see the U set. If not, some other player set. And this should already be the whole lesson. Let's test this in a second and then we conclude this tutorial. All right, last time. Hopefully, this works directly. So we will create the latest build. And hopefully we can now send messages to each other. Um, here we go. Start the fusion sample once. Start it twice. Move it here and move it there. We are hosting and we are joining. And we can move as always. One, one, one. We can shoot. And now I hit the R button and here some other player said, hey there, you said, hey there. And I can hit this, da, 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 and I hit it on this.
this side, and then, and then, and then you said hi there, the other player said hi there, and this concludes this tutorial 101 to 106, I think we are, and now we are at the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you found this helpful. You can read all the things on the Fusion homepage, and uh, I will just publish the link to this Git repository where I put all the code so that you can just download the lessons you're interested in. And I will post the link to the Git repo just below the video. Thank you very much.